Yeah, yeah, morning, good evening, good night, depending on what time you're watching this. Hi, Snafen here, and it's time for the newest video. What is up, Self Squad? How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, huge update, another huge update. If you open up your hero appointment, not yet, but maybe to the insta in state game soon. But at the moment, we're on the PTR server. So obviously, uh, this is only for the beta states, the ones which are obviously testing in the PTR server. There is now three new hero appointments. And these are bigger, badder, and more brutal than the ones before. Now, the reason why I say this is because there's 14 new levels on top of them. So let's start off. There is a small update with the old three. The old three do have one more thing to level up now. So if you open them up, where it used to be level 40 in max, there's now one little increase. So where it used to say 40, and now it says max, to actually get that max, you have to spend 200 more hero appointment manuals, okay? So you use 200 on each one of the three, and then you get this little boost here being 5% lethality. So if you do that on all three of them, it'll cost you in total 600 hero manuals, and you'll be getting 5% lethality increase. Now on this one, the middle one, you actually get 5% health increase. So same as before, the flag bearer is the most important one to max out. Max that one out, you get an extra 5% health increase. And then uh, Defense Strategist is 5% Lethality. And the same as Vanguard. Vanguard is 5% Lethality. So in total, you can get 10% Lethality and 5% Health Increase uh, on your overall stats added on top of all the other boosts they give. Now let's go on to the new three. Now on the new three, you've got Military Advisor, Reservoir Commando, and Reservoir uh, Tactician. I do not think these will stay the same as they are now when they actually get implemented in game. The reason being is because less open military advisor. If I go into the skills, you'll notice the very first skill is actually the inventory health, the most important one. Now, as you know, as I've always said, right uh, hunter health does not matter. Rider health it does not matter. Yet the rider and the hunter health are the ones which are getting really costly. Well, this is good for low spenders because we don't care about maxing them. We just want that first one. So for the low spenders like myself, this is perfect for us because we don't need it to be 80. But for the high spenders who want the really big push above the other players, this is bad for them because they're wanting to obviously max it out, get a huge advantage over the average spender. So... I do think this may change. It may change to hunt a rider inventory, inventory, inventory. If it does, one bad sell you, you can just ignore. First thing you should do is get this to 40. Get all of these to 40. Get that 13.5% inventory health increase for your rally. As I always said, it's, it's really good to get inventory health. Massive increase. Of course, the first three skills are more important. You get the damage for all three of them by level 40 on this one. You get the inventory health by level 40 on this one, plus the other two. And this one doesn't require you to rally. This can be a solo march. <clears throat> and then on this one, of course, all three of your troops get a 12% lethality increase. So all three of these are still more important than the new skills. But once you've maxed them three out, your first thing you want to be looking into is getting this inventory increase. 13.5%. Great increase. Very helpful, especially if you're a rally lead. Now, the next important one you want to be uh, focusing on is getting the very first skill on this one. This one gives your inventory health a 16.5% in, uh, health increase. But this is only for Reservoir Raid. I repeat, this is only for Reservoir Raid. It's built the exact same as the first one. But this one, of course, is a higher increase and for Reservoir Raid only. So the first one on here <coughs> will be a huge help. You'll be definitely wanting to get level 40 on each one of these as well for the inventory health. 
So that would be my second one I would focus on for rally lead. If you're a joiner, this one will be the first one you want to focus on. Because you're not rallying, you don't care about the 13.5% for the rally increase. You prefer to get some health increase uh, for as a joiner. So this one will be more important for you. Now, of course, this is the last one, but will make the biggest difference in Reservoir Raid. The reason why I say this is the last one you focus on is because to get the big difference, you need the level 60 on everything, level 70 on everything, and level 80 on anything. Now, if I open it up, I shall show you. This is exactly the same as the second one I showed you, but this is for lethality in Reservoir Raid. You first start off with the inventory one, which isn't so important, the writer one, which still isn't as important as the hunter, and then you get three hunter increases, being a whopping 49.5%. So, of course, this will make quite a huge difference in Reservoir uh, Raid and Reservoir League if you do max this out, because this will give you 49.5% hunter lethality increase. Of course, this will be for the big spenders to be able to max this out. If you're not a big spender, you want to focus on the first and third one, get that inventory health increase. Now, there is another change. Hey, there is another change. The other change is actually the abilities of your heroes. So, if I put this one in, you'll notice that it gives a 4% healing speed. So, in total, it will give you a 12% healing speed, which will help massively in SVS and other activities such as that. Now, that's not even the biggest increase. So 12%, of course, is massively helpful. But it's not as big as the second ability. The second ability gives you 60 timer help duration. So let's say when someone clicks that help button for you, it usually heals you by three minutes. That would increase to four minutes. That's a massive huge jump 33 percent increase so as i said this is the most important one all the free to play players which only have like level uh two star heroes and stuff like that that's where you'll be wanting your strongest ones you're wanting your three star heroes on this one get the biggest time help you can of course the attack and defense now are no longer the, your priority you're wanting to focus on the healing speed and you're wanting to focus on the uh, timer helps because they will help massively when it comes to fighting. That's for fillers. If you're a rally lead, I'm hoping you've got enough heroes at free start to be able to cover this. If not, you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. But the third one, of course, you do not need this. This one is a terrible one. It increases hospital capacity. We both know 6K hospital capacity is not changing anything. So you really want to be focusing on the first two, Billy and the Military Advisor and Resvare Commando, on having your better heroes. Of course, that's not the order you'll be leveling them, but they're your two which you want your strong heroes in to be able to get the boosts. So make sure you've got your strong heroes in them too. And when it comes to getting your skills, you want to go 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. And then 80, 80, 80, 80. That will be your order. Now, if they do change this to go hunter health, rider health, inventory health, then, of course, military advisor, you will need 80, 80, 80. Because getting that 49.5% inventory health, if they do change this before release, will be humongous for SVS and other activities. If that is the case... This may surprise you. I'm still going to say get 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, then 80, 80, 80. The reason why I say get these to 40, 40, 40 before getting that to 80, 80, 80 is because these will be a lot cheaper to get to 40, 40, 40, then get those to, that to 80, 80, 80. And these will still give you an 80% attack and defense increase for your inventory, hunters, and riders just through the basic stats here. Now, 80% attack and defense in all three of them is still a huge increase. So, and getting it all the way up to 80 will be very costly. So, to, um, so I'd think it'd be quicker and more beneficial to go hop over to the, the others. 
Actually, on this one, it's only 40.5%. So it's even less than what I said. So, yeah, that's how I would focus it if I was you. Now, one more update. If you look on the top right on the store, you'll notice that you can now exchange things. Now, these are weekly exchanges. So you can only exchange 15 on the bottom two. You can only exchange these 15 times. I've already done it, so they've been taken off. But you can exchange these two 15 times. And at the top, you can exchange the uh, 200 for a badge two times a week. But the top one with a 50% reduction, you can change one time per week. Now, obviously, people struggle on these service badges. So that's actually really good that you can swap 100 of those for a service badge. Now, last but not least, as you may have already noticed, there is a different type of uh, item to use. You're not going to be using the normal uh, stuff. You're going to be using these booklets instead. And these are worth more. If you looked at the exchange, 20 of the manuals will only give you 10 of these. Now, the cost of these are slightly less. So we looked at one of them, and I believe it was 43 for an upgrade on uh, the manuals, but it was only 34 for an upgrade here, which in theory, because it's worth double the amount, is actually 68. And each one of these levels are 50% more. But until the packs actually come out for this, and we start seeing what it's like, we're just going to have to uh, wait and see. Okay, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope this helps you. Hopefully I gave you enough information about this so that you are ready for when this comes out into actual states. As I said, one of the most important things you're going to want to be aware of is, of course, uh, this. Just make sure that this is the same order as it is now before choosing how you're going to be leveling this. Okay, thank you all for watching. Much love to you all. And guess what? I shall see you guys next time. Have a good night. And peace.